So recently I hacked my Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. One of the main reasons you might want to do this is, well, to make it a lot cooler and less lame, for instance. First thing you might notice is that you can do custom backgrounds now. Before, Amazon in all their greedy glory would literally have ads on this thing. So literally every time I put my device to sleep, I get some ad for some dumb, uh, smutty romance book. So, you know, cool stuff. Right away, you might notice another cool thing you can do on a hacked Kindle that you can't do on a normal one, and that is a black and white inverted uh, night reading mode. You can still access the normal Kindle store and homepage and everything, but all the magic happens in this app here called Kual. From there, you can install kind of what are like little apps, basically. All these apps can do different useful things, but for now, the main one we want to focus on is CoReader. This is kind of the main most important app where you can do your custom artwork. One of the main features of CoReader and why it's so cool and you'd want it, is you can actually upload a variety of file types and it's not just limited to Kindle's weird, super encrypted DRM stuff that they use that you can't actually even download your own books anymore. For instance, I've been reading this manga, 21st Century Boys. I've heard it's pretty good. And the cool thing about this is this file that I'm reading is a PDF. I don't have to go through any rigmarole of like converting this into a Kindle file or like a CBZ or anything like that. I can literally upload a PDF right from my computer onto this thing and it reads it no problem. You can put like your normal Kindle books in here as well. There's also just like way more settings you can mess with that I'm not gonna be able to go over in this video, but I mean, you can connect to your Calibre account on your computer and just automatically upload books without even plugging it in. You can even just upload like a PNG, dude. Like a normal Kindle cannot do this. <laughs> I've even seen a dude playing the original Pokemon for the Game Boy on this thing. The refresh rate is terrible, so it's almost unplayable, but it kind of works. Or if you don't want to go through the trouble of doing all this, you could just like buy a Kobo and not be under Amazon's crazy corporate nonsense. 